Chris, fine-tuning of the universe is something that everyone now talks about, uh, either in a dismissive way saying, sure, multiple universes give rise to the appearance of design when there is no such thing. Um, how do you see fine-tuning? I think it's relatively early days in this debate. Uh, the so-called anthropic coincidences were only noticed in the 1970s uh, and we're still in the process of learning a lot more about them. What are anthropic uh, coincidences? Well, those are the, um, uh, the observations that if certain physical laws and parameters were minutely different, that uh, life in the universe would not be possible. So that uh, it does appear, at least on the surface, as though all those laws and parameters uh, have been precisely organized such that this could be a fruitful universe for life. The argument, of course, is that if it weren't that case, we would never ask the question because we wouldn't be here, we couldn't ask the question. So we're only able to ask that question in a situation in which those do occur. Uh, and if you add that to the theories of multiple universes, which comes out independently of, uh, of uh, cosmology and inflation physics, um, then the two very naturally meld. We have multiple universes, and only in those universes in which life could appear, which seem to be fine-tuned, are we asking the question. So it seems to solve itself. Well, I think this is an interesting area in which, depending where you start from, you will uh, take two different sorts of view. Uh, if you start from an atheistic materialist perspective, such that a God explanation is a, um, a bizarre and tiresome way of thinking, then you will be inclined to think that uh, multiverses, that the existence of trillions of universes of which we just happen to live in the right one, is an elegant and simple explanation of a phenomena. Uh, if you start from a position of believing in a creator God who transcends the universe and created it out of absolutely nothing, then you will regard that as a nice simple explanation of fine tuning and you will be inclined to think that multiverses is a rather baroque way of getting round it. So you seem to have two very simple solutions to the problem. They're quite opposite in their, uh, in their intent and their explanation, but they're both quite easy to understand. Or, or, or is, is that it? Is it a choice one or the other? And there's no other explanation possible. I think we're on a, an ongoing conversation here. Uh, it may well be that uh, evidence gathers scientifically for multiverses. Uh, that wouldn't mean that a theologian had to abandon his or her belief in a rational creating God. Uh, it would extend and if anything enrich our sense of God's creative uh, power and ingenuity. So the theologian shouldn't be afraid of how the science is developing but should uh, remain in conversation with it uh, based all the time on uh, the question of how we understand God as creator and as the origin of everything that is. It sounds like theology is therefore unfalsifiable because if you have only one universe, you have your solution that God did it. If you have multiple universes with all this possibility, you also have your solution that God did it at a different level and an enriched understanding. So anything that happens is enriching your understanding of, of God. And so there's no possibility of changing that. Well, our view of God uh, moves on as a result of the conversation, but uh, this is 
certainly not an area where you'd expect a knockdown proof for and against the existence of a creator god. It's, it's impossible that science could generate such a proof. What is your personal feeling about multiple universes uh, from a, uh, a theological perspective, but appreciating the science? My instinct as a, someone with a scientific background is that I'm not at all clear that we'll be able to make much progress in characterizing universes other than our own. The very definition of a universe is that it's all that you can, uh, uh, that could be uh, investigated. Um, so I suspect that multiverses will remain an interesting area of theoretical physics that perhaps doesn't make very much progress or not for a very long time, but that's just a get. And your theological sense of that, if it were able to be demonstrated one way or the other, would you have a theological stake in the outcome? In a sense, no, because it, the more universes there are, in a sense, the more wonderfully God has worked. But in a sense, yes, in that the, the specialness of God's interaction with this universe, this planet, this set of creatures is important to the Christian.